Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we will be doing my updated everyday makeup routine. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm saying because I'm filming two videos today and I got it kind of hurried. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we're doing my everyday makeup routine. It's actually pretty, it's funny. I don't know, I feel like you guys will see. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and without further ado, let's just get started. The only reason why it's kind of funny is because I feel like it's not products that you would expect. Um, I actually just did a video like my top three in every makeup category. And right now, it's like when I try to do my fastest makeup, I try to do my easiest makeup. And that's not always the same as like my favorites. Um, and Or like these are my favorites. I don't know. It's like hard to just explain. So this is actually a product you can't get anymore. But this is the Essence. Prime Plus Studio Hydrating Skin Refreshing Primer. So I reach for this every day all the time because I want to use it up. Not necessarily, I really did like it, but it's not necessarily in my top three favorites right now. Um, but like, that's why I feel like it's interesting <laughs> because I have to use that product up basically and I want to use it up. Uh, that's why I'm reaching for it so much. Honestly, similar to this product, I just want to get use out of it. So this is the NYX Plump Right Back um, Plumping Serum and Primer. Again, it's not one that was in my top three, but I just, I reach for it so much because I'm like, I gotta use it. This one also was kind of, I kind of, not forced myself, but I was like, okay, we gotta use that because I just let go of the um, e.l.f. primer with niacinamide. This is like kind of like my, the better version. If you feel like the e.l.f. ones, the power grips are too tacky, like they don't blend evenly, you can't get an even application, and you just don't like that feeling, this is honestly the better sister. Because, cousin I should say, <laughs> because um, it's not nearly as um, tacky, but it does end up drying down and holding onto your makeup. So you can see there is a bit of a stick to it, um, but it's not like literally nasty to kind of blend out. I feel like it's really nice, makes my makeup last pretty, pretty long, and um, you get the same effect basically with the e.l.f., but without the super tackiness at the beginning. And I thought that that super bulk commercial was mad funny, because I'm like, in my opinion, that's not really a good thing. <laughs> like, I don't necessarily want my makeup to stick like that to everything and so obviously it literally doesn't stick like that to everything but you know what I mean I, it is a really sticky primer but to each their own to each their own okay next today we're gonna go on with the Sephora best skin ever longwear foundation just because um I have the shade 33n just because I go in with my <laughs> L'Oreal in every other video and that one's also my baby so I literally honestly go back and forth between these two and the LYS um, and then when I'm trying out foundations, I'll, you know, switch them out. But again, for the everyday routine, I literally like something, I never said this, so I don't know why I said it again. <laughs> but for my everyday routine, I literally like something medium, a lighter medium coverage. Okay, I like to take my medium coverage foundations, I should say, and wear them a little bit lighter. Um, I like when they're natural finish because I really don't want anything super, super glowy on a day to day. I just don't want to draw too much attention to myself I should say on a day to day I don't want people to be like oh you're wearing makeup today you know what I'm saying I just want it to be like okay she looks a little bit like she got sleep and a little bit put together so I honestly kind of just do go like that super super easy I barely did um a full pump um I did a little bit like a half pump on each side I should say so I guess I did do a full pump <laughs> but I really sheared it out and so like you really just want to blend it in make it look as natural as possible let's use our new mirror shall we I have a mirror addiction, I've just noticed. Ugh, I just love this foundation. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. So stunning. Look at that. Look at all that wear and tear, okay? I'm obsessed. And then the combo of the NYX primer, the essence, like I just feel like it's so well rounded that honestly, like I could wear I could have if I had this combination on deck for everyday use for my entire life, like I'd be so happy. You know what I mean? Like it's just a good combo. Um, so next I like to go in with concealer, honestly any concealer. I rotate my concealers pretty well. I have so many favorites, so many good concealers that I enjoy, um, that it's never a set concealer. Today we're going with the Kosas Revealer Concealer, um, cause I just want something a little bit more juicy under my eyes, uh, for today. I'm going out with my friends, we're just going shopping, so nothing, um, too crazy, but I do want to look a little bit put together cause... I rarely get to do this, <laughs> so um, I just want something a little bit more fresh, a little bit more um, youthful. 
and not that my other concealers don't do that but some of my other concealers have a little bit more coverage or a little bit more um of a natural finish this is a little bit more dewy under the eye so i really don't want to look dry today <laughs> under the eyes i should say Ugh. love 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 so juicy that's a fan favorite for a good reason like do not sleep on that concealer if you're sleeping on it. <laughs> of course, we're going in with my Complex Culture Set Go Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this also changes day to day with mostly what I'm trying to kind of use and rotate. Like if I know I haven't used a powder in a while, I'll use that. I'll use um, that one. Um, but for this instance, I'm just going with my favorite because, um, again, I'm going out. So normally if I'm just going to work or whatever, I honestly will... Um, try different powders or powders that are not my favorite just because I know like even if it ends up looking too too crazy I work with children <laughs> but today I really want this to not look crazy so <sighs> complex sculpture for the win they had oh my gosh guys I nearly died they had a few of these they had a bunch of deeper shades so that's really why I didn't pick it up but they had a couple options on um Ipsy Shopper and I was like oh my gosh do I need it do I need another one <laughs> and so they're and when you get it from ipsy shopper they're cheaper than when you normally buy it just so if you guys don't know that so um it's not going to be the $30 if you get it through ipsy shopper so that's why I recommend like keeping your eyes out through ipsy because this powder is so good um but another amazing one the kosas uh cloud set I just it's so funny I have so many kosas favorites and so many kosas like hates it's just like I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> like, do I like Kosas? Do I not? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Again, sometimes I'll just take a pressed powder, put it under my eyes and move on with my life. Sometimes I'll just take a loose. It really just depends when it comes to powder. Um, but again, today I really want to be snatched. So we're going to set with powder. Okay, honestly, like I'm being so 100, 100. There have been days where I don't even go in with bronzer because I'm like, whatever. The one day I didn't even, my skin, I was wearing, was I testing a new foundation? Or maybe I was using a powder that wasn't um, a super like, um, uh, I don't know. I don't remember what I did. Whatever I did, my skin was pretty tan. It wasn't as light as it looks right now. And I honestly didn't wear bronzer or blush or highlighter. And I just went like that. And I was just like, you know, yellow. Because again, I'm going to work. But I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer. Just a little bit. This is the She Glam Sunside Bronzer in the shade Midsummer. For bronzer, I feel like all my bronzers are good enough that I can just pop them on, you know, whenever, everyday use. I really don't have one specific one that I use all the time. For the winter, I should say. I feel like for the summer, I have some, like, go-tos. But for now, this is just kind of, like, a uh, whatever step. Whatever, whatever. Honestly, same with blush. But I really am excited to use the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush again in the shade Rosy Rosewood. This color was just so stunning when I used it. And I just want to wear it again. Ooh, 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 yeah. It's just a little bit like it's natural but again it's rosy so it has that like just beautiful pinky rosiness to it but it's not too too much you know it's the perfect like everyday blush honestly it's like that um kind of it's not it's more of that like I'm cold kind of blush where it's like a little bit rosy a little bit rosy like super super pretty and like really girly and like but it's not too much, like it's not too bright or too dark or too anything. It's just a perfect color. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's go on to brows. A highlighter, I brought one down just in case I was feeling it, but I'm not feeling it today. And normally I don't feel it, so I'm just like, okay, let's not, let me not force myself. Um, we are going to go in with some setting spray first. This is the Koki Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray. I'm trying to use this up, so I use it all the time. There's so much in here, though, which is like, girl, please, use up. While that's drying, we're going to go with some brows. My brow routine is pretty minimal on a day-to-day. -day. I like to just go in with, um, like, the e.l.f. Wow brow or something. Like a, Usually, it's just the e.l.f. Wow brow, I should just say, um, if I'm going with a tinted one. If I'm going with a clear one, I'll just rotate any kind of clear brow gel, and I'll add a little bit of pencil or, like, a little bit of a brow kind of pen or um, just a tinted brow gel. I really don't do a lot to my brows because they're pretty decent normally. Um, and so like when I'm going with a pencil, I'll do like a little bit underneath just to like add a little bit of definition. 
and then just fill in random spots that I feel like need a little bit of something something. <laughs> Today I do want to do a little bit of eyeshadow. Again, it really depends on the day, whether I'm feeling it or not, do I have time for it or not. Today we're going to go in with the new ColourPop. This is the um, Dreams Come True palette. I don't know, this palette was just beautiful and I bought it because I was like, what if they come out with every single princess? Then I have to collect them. And if I'm already not collecting them and they're limited edition, I'll be so sad. And Like if I can't get them, like if I couldn't get this one when the next one comes out, I'll be sad. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, we're going to go in with the shade Such Grace, which is like this cream color. I'm just going to set my lid a little bit. It's a really nice skin tone color because it's not too white but not too dark either. Perfect. And then let's just go in with this. I'm going to go with the brown shade or the peachy shade. This is really hard. Ooh, I want to wear that shimmer. Okay, honestly, I'm just going to take this shimmer, which is the shade My Prince, and just put that all over the lid lightly. I'm not going to do too, too much because I really, again, don't do too much on every day. But sometimes a good, like, just natural shimmer is exactly what you need in life. Alright, I'm just going to take a blending brush and blend that shade in the crease. I need a mirror. Oh, yes. So stunning. So stunning. So stunning. I'm just going to take a shade, a uh, little bit of the shade Someday, which is this peachy shade. It's like, this is a nice kind of... Um, right before spring palette, like the transition palette between now and like fall, I'm sorry, winter and spring, because there are some like springier tones, but there's not too, too many, um, like you could still wear some colors now and then wear a few then. I'm just going to take that same color on the lower lash line. Just a little. And then honestly, I'm going to leave it like that because it looks just so, I know you guys can't see, like honestly, even if I zoom in, I'm sure it's not going to be like super, super pretty. But it's just like that one shadow kind of, one color kind of look, monochromatic kind of look. It's super, super cute. All right, and then um, we're just going to go in with some mascara. Again, I brought an eyeliner in case I was feeling it, but I'm not feeling it. So we're going to go in with the Essence Lash Like a Boss instant volume and length mascara. I switch my mascara every single day. I just kind of try to use like what I haven't used the time before really. Um, <laughs> so I just rotate all of them just to try to give them awesome use. I honestly really love my mascaras right now. I feel like any one I use for the most part is going to be good and so I really appreciate that. <laughs> I love all my collections like that because when it's like you never know what mascara is going to be good or not. I just hate it. And so, and I never want to just get rid of a mascara because I feel like mascaras can be worked with. You can curl your lashes first. Like, you can finesse. Um, but I feel like all mine right now are pretty, pretty good. Especially for everyday wear and tear. They're all, they all do the job really nicely. See? So pretty. Now I'm going to give myself a, what is that? A mole? All right, and then before I go in with a um, setting spray, because I want to take that off, um, I'm going to go in with, this is the Warm Up Guy. It's a Disney Muppets ColourPop Glowing Lip in the shade Warm Up Guy. I don't know if this is on sale right now, but I honestly, like, reconsidered purchasing another one, because <laughs> I love this so much, and I honestly, like, am not even through with this, but I think it's so pretty. It's just au natural. It's just that perfect, like, au natural lip. Honestly, it doesn't match with the eye too well. <laughs> I didn't think this through, but it is so freaking pretty. I feel like you can really sheer it out, so I'm just going to take a little bit, sheer it out. I wear, again, I rotate all my lips. I like something glossy for the day, more of like a balm kind of con like consistency, and so that's why I really like this. Um, let's see if this will, there you go, came off. So pretty. And then we're just going to go in with the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray for 16-hour wear. I do like to wear something long wearing just so it makes my makeup last all day long. I freaking have 20 setting sprays right now. So again, I just rotate whichever one I'm feeling and go from there. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Now that I just choked, um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of my everyday routine. <laughs> I swear I do this all the time. So it's not like a... Um, I just made that up or anything like that. Like literally I switch out like my foundations between two or I have like my set foundations. 
um, that I literally, oh my gosh, should I, I just sprayed setting spray and I feel like it's all over this already. I have the same foundation that I wear all the time, like the same routine I do all the time and rarely, like I switch out a couple things, but really that's it. So um, let me know what your everyday routine looks like. Is it a lot smaller? <laughs> that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.